How's it going guys? This evening I have this Segway 9 bot Max I got. Pardon the junk in the background. I'm um, not turning on. As of right now I'm going to try removing the screen. Make sure all the wires are there and everything. I have no power that I can tell up here. I have nothing. Um, I think I'm going to try flipping this over and checking the battery first. Okay, I got all of them out. Um, there's still one stuck in the back. And I want to show you this one. <clears throat> this one has, they're all a star bit, security star. This one has a slot cut in it. So, it looks like a Dremel cut into it because it's not centered or anything. So someone's been in this before. And I also realized there's a bunch of grease and stuff on the back. And the tire's flat. And it's like brand new tires. But if you notice, rotation this way. This tire's on backwards. So, and due to all the pry marks it looks like on the edges, someone's replaced this tire. And it looks like they rode through asphalt or something. It's all sticky and nasty. But yeah, this one appears to be never unmounted. It still has air in it. So I'm going to see if I can get this off without taking the screw that's stuck in there. Whatever it is. That was a back. I think it's the one like here, but on that side. Let's see if I can just wiggle this off. Oh, I forgot one. As long as the battery's good and the motor's good, I can figure it out. Okay, I think we can rotate this, but we're going to flip the scooter 180. Other direction here. Or what? Residential wire nut, which is not a good sign at all. You can see those there. Uh, and that goes to the motor. The black one. I'm guessing they couldn't get these two out. I'm guessing it was for the the tire change would be my assumption that they had to cut those. The motor is not going to prevent it from not starting or turning on. So I need my main power connector so I can test voltage at the battery. And this is the, the make it or break it. If this thing has, I don't even know what this is, 36 volts? Yeah, 36, that's a 15.3 amp hour. Please have full power. Oh, we have 41 volts. That's awesome news. Because not only are we fully charged, but the battery is probably good. So that means we either have a faulty screen, a loose wire, hopefully something simple, but not guaranteed. It kind of has that residual smell of burnt electronics. Kind of what I'm going for is a uh, something that's fried on this board. It has an open top here, so I'm trying to figure out if anything's fried. I've never even seen this style of connector before. Nothing looks like burnt. We do have like a white pasty 
smoky look in here. <clears throat> Just not really ideal. Let's see if I can fit my tool in there and get the two Allens out and pull this out. I'm thinking this is our issue. And I'll test the outputs that go up to the, the controller. I'm getting nothing. Let me try taking the handlebar off. Right, well, I'm taking the last screw out. Um, on this side, there's that one that was like drilled out. So I don't know. Someone must have had this off before. But, let's see. Wait, what the heck? Um, the wire is supposed to plug into that. Must have checked. Um, what the heck are you doing down there, little buddy? <laughs> it was pretty difficult, but I was able to finally get this up here. I really hope that was the only issue. Hopefully, I didn't fry anything, but tapping that wire together. Why did you spit it out? Yeah. Ooh, God. getting a flashing tail light just like a consistent flashing tail light um, Which makes it feel like it's on. I don't really know. So it's turning on, it's just not getting power back for it for a reason. I'm going to try googling this and I'll get with you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, this is two days later. Um, off camera, I fought with this tire. I take it off and put it on the right direction. Um, there was actually no valve core inside the valve stem. I put one in it. Still can't get it to hold air. Um, I really just need something besides this portable air pump to do it. So hopefully um, I can get this back together and get it up to the garage and see if I can get the whole air. Um, I received in the mail a new screen if that's needed. I don't think this is the problem because I can hook up five volts to the screen and the screen powers on. I think it's this um, controller. So I'm going to get that out of the way. I think it's very greasy for whatever reason. Um, I'm going to disconnect this. The problem is they have, I guess they broke the connectors. I don't know what they did, but um, I'll have to figure out a way to hook up the motor to this because I don't want to cut the ends off if that's not even the solution. But regardless, let's go ahead and get all these unplugged and get the new one out of the box. Hopefully it matches. Yeah, same, uh, same size, no, no waterproofing on it like the other one. This has an open 
four pin that was not on the other one. I don't know what that's for. This one does not have that on the board. So this is a direct fit, so this one's a whole, like, it's still sealed, but it's not encased like the other one is. So, now uh, let's go ahead and hook this stuff up. Same XT60 connectors. I'm going to figure out something for these. Um, I also have a yellow, green, and blue instead of a yellow, black, and blue. So black I just swap out for green, I guess. Which is their ground, I think. Okay, um, I couldn't find any bullet connectors. So for the meantime, I'm just going to stick the wires in here and see if the thing even works. And then we'll go from there. Because I don't want to cut these off uh, if it's not the actual fix. Okay. Now we're going to hook up power and cross our fingers. Uh, I'm nervous. Nice pop. Now this should work. Yes. Just a slight pulse there. So that's in there. So now I'm going to pull the, the throttle and really hope that this actually works. It's on, which is a good good indicator. I need to fix this thing. Oh, the brake light works. That's good. Uh, no throttle. Um, I think on this one you have to move. It works. It's my coin in my pocket. So now we have to put this back together um, and we're going to permanently hook these up so I will end up returning my extra screen that I have here and send that back get my like, $25 back um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put all this back together and I will see you when I head up to the garage to see if we can get this tire to hold air all right guys I finally 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 Ooh. got air in this rear tire put pb blaster on it, everything the only thing i could figure out how to get the bead set is actually stand on it and roll down the driveway and it spread the tire just enough to pop up and over that edge i could not get it to set whatsoever but as much air as i needed it just would not go so it's a maiden voyage let's see if this thing was worth i think it was like 40 bucks is all i spent on this thing so so Chip seems to me hopefully go down the driveway. Um, I haven't synced my phone. I changed it to miles per hour, but it still says kilometers per hour on the screen. I have no idea what's going on there. So here we go. best purchase I've made this year. Dude, this thing is sweet. I love this thing so much. I need to adjust the brakes. They're... Eh. <laughs> Good on tire pressure. Nice and gooey. But yeah. This thing is awesome. Alright guys, overall I absolutely love this scooter. It's a 
amazing. I can't believe the, the power on this compared to what I'm used to. The one I have currently before this one, I was rated, I think the same 300 or 350 watts. Um, it's a front hub motor instead of a rear like this one. But this has so much more torque to it. I don't understand. The other one has instant torque, but it's it's not enough. I don't know if it's just the battery's weak or whatever, but this thing, I love this thing. <laughs> I've only ridden it like a couple minutes, but I love this thing. I wish I could test other scooters, but see if I get stung by a wasp here. This thing is awesome. I bought it for a hundred bucks. I spent $40 on a new um, speed controller or just controller in general. Um, a lot of forms and stuff were saying it was the, uh, the screen. I didn't think it was because I hooked up five volts to the screen that was already on here. And I mean, it, it powered right on. So that was my thought of when I hooked up power, the controller it has a red LED and a green LED. The green would flash, the red would stay solid. And every time the green would flash, the taillight would flash. So like, that's kind of odd to me. It seems like that's failing. It's not like completing its system check or something. So I ordered both. Uh, the screen I think was like 25 and the you know, controller was 40. Uh, I didn't even take the control or the uh, screen out of the box. So I stuff it in the box. I'm just gonna return it. And yeah. Um, 40 bucks, I need a new rear fender. This one is broken. Um, the hand grips are definitely used. A lot of wear on them. Um, I can't get the kilometers to go to miles per hour. I've changed it in the app multiple times, shut it off, turn it back on. It will not change. So if you've had this issue with this scooter, if you want to leave a comment down below and Maybe I'm missing something. The videos I've seen on YouTube, you change it in the app, you can literally watch it change on your screen. I don't have that happen to mine. I don't know why. So, I don't know if it's something I'm doing or what. It could just be the scooter's a little eh. <laughs> Otherwise, by the way, I am 6'6", and I, I fit on this way better than my other one. My other one, it sits quite a bit lower. My size 15, hey dudes fit on this decent not like perfect but better than others so yeah overall it gives this a uh, five stars from my point of view um that's it for this video thanks for watching see you guys in the next video try to get some night riding yeah. <laughs>